finally I realized that restaurants are pretty overrated. I think I oh ah 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 I'm crossing this one. As you see, there are restaurants everywhere. However, there's another way of eating that I want to expose you all to. And in this video, I'm going to show you that. I'm heading to the first place right now. Bam! We're going to start off with breakfast. We're going to start off on the, the healthy side. But what you see right here are sweet potatoes. Look at this. They have different prices because of the different sizes. 220 grams, 155 grams. So I think I'm gonna go with 200 grams. Damn, there goes what it looks like, sweet potato. They have different type of vending machines, some that sell sushi, gyoza, those pot stickers, other things, but I'm in Japan. I'm gonna take advantage of this as much as I can. So they have the different ramens for about $8. I'm definitely going for the, the spicy type. Oh man, I don't know what this says. You know we have to also get the fresh OJ. We have an orange juice machine as well. Fresh oranges in there. I don't know if you can see. Check that out. All right, goes the rules. Insert coins. When the buzzer sounds, your juice is ready. To get a straw, use the knob to open the lid. Okay. How much is this? Oh, and 100% orange juice. Look at that, there you go right there. Fresh squeeze, guys. Oh, look at that. I'll just pick it out. Bam. Nice and cold. And then the straw should be over here, yep. Bam! Dessert in the can, look like a strawberry shortcake, chocolate. Is that, oh, it has a name right here. Mellow sponge cake, strawberry sponge cake, strawberry chocolate cake. And it keeps going. They have two machines too. Oh, pretty much selling the same thing. Bam. Back at the room. Let's start off with breakfast. It's a little cool. And here goes what it looks like. Oh, there we go. That's better. See the potato right there? And I believe it's ready to go. You don't have to bake it or anything. You just eat it like this. I believe I stand corrected. It says to heat it for one to two minutes. 
Pretty sure you can eat it like this, but I'm gonna follow the directions. Heat it for one to two minutes. For one minute. Well, that's warming up. We have the juice, the orange juice. Cup. Came with the straw. And uh, let's try this out. And you can see the pulp inside too as well. Yep, can't complain. It's delicious. But the baked potato is done. Nice and warm, it's not too hot. I don't know if there's a specific way to open this, but uh, pretty sure there is. Okay, okay, there we go. Yeah, this is uh it's not bad. Yep. Delicious. And I could be wrong. It could be the natural sugars, but I think they add some type of syrup or something. I don't know if you understand Japanese. Let me know if there's any syrup or anything added. It might just be the natural sugars. There's like a like a syrupy kind of texture right there but it's delicious next up we have the ramen guys and yes if you've been if you've been keeping up with my videos this is probably like the eighth or ninth time that i've had this but don't judge me all right usually when i find something i i stick to it when i find something good broth noodles spices and I believe other toppings, you have to buy them separately, if I'm not mistaken. So it's the front, and the directions are on the back. Now it's time to add the noodles to the boiling water. Keep in mind that I suck at boiling noodles. Either they come out too soft or too chewy. So hopefully I get this right. Ooh, I'm gonna add too much. I don't think I did. Now again, it just comes with the noodle broth and spices, but when it comes to green onions, any other things, garlic, any other add-ons, it's up to you. You have to purchase them yourself. I'm not gonna lie, in the package, it didn't look like much, but this is actually a lot. This is uh, <clears throat> Okay, moment of truth. Yeah, trust me guys, it tastes better than it looks. I know the colorings aren't too shiny. This is sort of like a, a light brownish with the noodles. And this will look better if I had like some green onions sprinkled on top with the, some garnishing. <clears throat> but trust me, this is, this is delicious. Let me give it one more, one more. Mm. Yeah, this is good right here. This is, uh, this is good. Let me put some more spices in there. This is, it's not that hot. But this is definitely comfort food. This is, uh, yeah. And try and keep in mind, I've had probably eight bowls of ramen so far. And this is, uh, this is pretty good. So let me destroy this, but A++. Woo, we'll say A minus. And last but not least, guys, we have the dessert. Oh, that lighting isn't the greatest. Let me put it down here. Is it the, how about that? 
This is a... Dang, I read it earlier. Chocolate... Ah, you see it. I forgot the name of it. Um, for the record, I know one thing that people are... When it comes to purchasing foods from vending machines, the expiration date is... Has the item expired or not? And I've checked the expiration date on all of these and they haven't expired. So I'm pretty sure if I had to imagine Japan uh, regularly, if the people in charge of the vending machines regularly check the expiration dates of the items and they regularly replace them, I have to imagine. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah. There we go. Let me go ahead and pop this cherry right here, guys. Well, this is a strawberry. But you guys get what I'm trying to say. Bam. I'm gonna skip that strawberry and dig into this. Okay, just got strictly chocolate, like mousse or something. But remember, there's different layers to this. So you have to work your way to the bottom. Let's try this out. Got a little bit of the crumbs, mousse, and I got a strawberry right, on, right there. Look at that, look at this, look at this. Oh no, okay, no, it's gonna fall if I twist it. Yeah, it's gonna fall. Mm-hmm. There goes the strawberry, if you're wondering the freshness of the strawberry. Right there. Hey, the food tastes, I mean, if I told you I got this from the vending machine, you probably wouldn't believe me. If I, if I opened this and put it on a plate and sold it to you with uh, for $20 with an English butler, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know I got this from the vending machine. It's very good. Keep in mind that here in East Asia, desserts are very, hold on. Here in East Asia, desserts are very light, meaning that they're not super sweet. That's what I like about it. You would think this would be super sugary, but it's not. It's actually, I mean, it's sweet, but it's not as sweet as you think. It's very light. It's delicious too. Hmm, it was good. Messing up the picture. So all in all, everything was delicious. I will say I wish the orange juice came with a little bit more juice. The ramen, although I know, I know it, it did not look the greatest. It just looked like slop with some noodles, but trust me, it was very delicious. Sweet potato, great. And then the shortcake was amazing. And this video was to show two things. One, uh, restaurants may be a little bit overrated, okay? Especially if you're an American watching this, we all know time is money. And if you wanna save some time, you don't wanna go to a restaurant, have to wait in line, and you got dine in. And even if you're ordering takeout, you have to drive there, you're wasting gas. If you order Uber Eats, you gotta get hit with all those fees. You can just hit up the vending machine that's nearby and have lunch there. And also, this was to show that the vending machine culture in Japan is crazy. It's outrageous. Definitely, when you're in a country, try to check them out. But with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that it's helped you. We'll be looking out for some more, and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Deuces.